The IF and Jax YouTube channel is a standalone product and is not a direct reflection of Jax the Professional Wrestler. The product is rated R for profanity, crude humor, and too much drama. So if you're under 18, then I'm telling. <laughs> Ooh, you gon' get it. Thought you were quicker than that. Round two. They thought that was funny. Bitch, I will fuck you up. Throw another one. Throw another one, please, because it's so good. God damn it. Uh 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 uh. You shit me. Stop showing off because it wasn't whatever you did wasn't cool. Coming in hot. Are you talking about your weapon or me? Did you just throw a piece of lumber at me? Didn't even know about these feet, did you? Why did you just see? You got kicked in the face because you saluted me. You can't salute someone in the middle of a fight. That doesn't make any sense. You're fighting, doofus butt. There we go. Ew. Oh shit. Takeda. Fatality. Why would her mouth be bubbling? You know what? I don't know why you're dressed up like Assassin's Creed. Oh wow, I got really confused. I thought that was me that fell in the lava. I wouldn't want to fight in these conditions. Excuse me, can you not do that while I'm fucking bitching about the environment, please? This is global warming. This has global warming written all over it. But you know what? Last time you had a girlfriend, you have a kid with her, and her name was Cassie Cage, and I killed her. God, for holy shit! So okay, Taco Bell, right? Speaking of which, <laughs> uh, did y'all ever remember those damn chihuahuas, like those stuffed chihuahuas that I think, I think Taco Bell used to sell them, and they were like collectibles, and you could get different cons and shit, like there were different poses and stuff like that. My nanny was really into that. She like collected beanie babies and everything, it's really weird. That wasn't really weird, but this is what is really weird. So, we used to think that, uh, one of the fucking chihuahuas, okay, I'm mad now. Because why isn't the Chihuahua still like the the uh, freaking mascot of Taco Bell? That makes me really angry. But whatever. Um. So anyway, she had a china cabinet, and she had like the, all those dogs in it. Bitch, what was that about? She had all those little stuffed dogs in there, and uh, I had came to be convinced that one of them were was pos have that one of them was possessed because every time I would walk by it I'm never gonna get a fucking fatality with this jackass but every time I would walk by it you'd hear it go and I was convinced that it was possessed because I'm pretty sure that my nanny granite's house is haunted but I'm pretty sure that this one is now but um like I would see all kinds of weird stuff I'd see shadows and whatnot and um I wonder if that chihuahua had a name right in the butt if your butt was in your balls area. Bitch, what did I just say? What did I just say? What did I just say, Raiden? I said to let me win, and you fucking didn't. You're an asshole. I'm not gonna play with you anymore. I love that dance that I do. Alright, Chinook, I'm gonna sing you a song, and I need for you to, to not do that if you want a song. He's got hands quicker than I, quicker than your huh? Okay, so I just need to confront something real quick. What the fuck are you throwing down? I need to know that because that's not even, you're not, it's not even hitting anyone. This is probably the longest fucking one that I've had to do. Like, this is the longest guy that I did it with. Haha, <laughs> you know. With Shinnok defeated, Takeda and his father set out to find his mother's killer, a member of the Red Dragon Clan. Special Forces Tech enabled Takeda to locate the clan's base and disguise himself and Kenshi as they infiltrated their ranks. Deep within the mountain stronghold, Takeda discovered an actual dragon, a prisoner of the <laughs> an clan. An actual dragon. The creature used its magic to define the murderer's name, then transport Takeda and Kenshi to a faraway cave. There they discovered a man encased in a stalagmite. The dragon had said this man would also have reason to confront Su Chin's killer. Who is that? Takeda began Takeda. to free him. Right in your cooter. There we go. Cassie 
wins. Fatality. I feel like I would be an asshole if I killed my own father. That's right, Cassie Cage turned heel. You make me want to rip your face off, glue it on mine, and then make fun of myself. I swear to God, I hate her. <laughs> I hate her with every being in my body. I hate her so much. Cassie Cage's impressive victory over Shinnok led Raiden to give her a new important task. Hunting down a soul stealer. And who was that? Cassie did not have to be told that the suspect could be a resurrected Shang Tsung. Oh shit. Cool down. Having tracked him from the site of his last known assault, Cassie confronted the withered old man. He fought desperately, but was Why is he old, but Johnny Cage and <laughs> fucking Sonya's not? As lay dying before her, Cassie asked his name. With a mixture of sadness and relief, he whispered, Shujinko. Shujinko. <laughs> 